Today we're going over my list of the top 10 music video effects in Blender for 2025. Now don't be confused by the title, this isn't some hey click this boom crazy effect type of list. This is something I do every year where I break down 10 really cool different techniques or styles. I'm going to help you get up and running making them for yourself and hopefully open up some new doors of opportunity for you to explore. So before we get started, this video is sponsored by myself. I'm running a giant new year sale where you can get my best selling Blender plugin Director 3D as well as my ultimate. 3D character course for 70% off. My plugin is the first Blender plugin specifically made for music videos. There's hundreds of templates, effects, as well as free updates and content added throughout the year, like this modular forest builder and this draw on spline missile tool, which was in our last update. So if you're interested in that, click the link at the top of my description. Number one is going to be geometry nodes. Geometry nodes are hands down my favorite tool to use within Blender. I'm just going to start by showing you some crazy things you can do with geometry nodes for music videos. From a pure VFX perspective, you can get some really amazing results. All of these ones I'm showing you here, you can actually download these for free. He's an awesome creator. I'll put all the links down below at the end. Now, if you want to get started making your own geometry node effects or systems, I have a couple tutorials aimed towards beginners, helping you with simple things like an animated distribution system. Here is what I just said at a larger scale. This is creating dynamic large scale environments seen in game development. Tons of value with geometry nodes. Learn them doesn't have to be daunting. I think it's worth it. I think it's fun. So check out some beginner tutorials. Again, I'll link a bunch of them in the description. Number two is 3D characters and 3D characters have been a main focus on my channel for a while. So I want to give an updated guide on a lot of the new things that I learned just about characters. From a pure service to client perspective, having the ability to take your client and convert them into a 3D character is an incredibly useful skill. The advantages of a 3D character are pretty self-explanatory. You can adjust pose, you can add animation, change their expression, even add in motion capture so they're fully moving and animated or performing the song. All of this without being limited by physical space, budgets, or the constraint of traditional filming. I'm just going to toss up some different examples on the screen for you to check out here. There's realistic characters, which are great for emotional or cinematic music videos. There's stylized characters. If you want a more unique or fantasy vibe, you can exaggerate features. You can have vibrant designs. There's these artsy, high fashion runway type characters, which I absolutely love. If you wanted to get started making your own character, I've made tons of videos talking about my specific workflow, as well as my workflow for creating the 3D clothing and animations. Number three, is abstract and surreal effects, aka weird stuff. Blender isn't just realism, it's perfect for creating abstract, strange, and surreal visuals that can really make your music video stand out. There's powerful texturing tools and simulations which allow you to create mind-bending effects that push the boundaries of what's possible. One of my favorite person who does this, who's been doing it for a while, is Nude Robot. Absolutely love the sheer amount of craziness that he puts out. There's a ton of different artists that you can find on Instagram that are creating everything from satisfying renders to weird, crazy experiments. I think this works really well with music videos because you can kind of just experiment and mess around with some of Blender's tools until you find something you like. If you want to get into making these yourself, these are the three main things you want to focus on. Procedural texturing. This will allow you to create complex textures without needing external images. Another one is simulations, creating fluid, smoke, cloth, combining them all together to create crazy experiments. The third one is displacement and warping. You can take two objects and manipulate them in strange ways using displacement modifiers and warping techniques. This lets you stretch, bend, and twist forms into unusual shapes that can fit the mood of your experimental music video. So number four is going to be NPR, and I've talked about this as well in the past. There's just so much in the vein of NPR. If you don't know what that means, it stands for non-photorealistic rendering. This is all about moving away from realism to create stylized artistic visuals. Blender is a powerful tool for achieving a wide variety of NPR looks, whether it's inspired by anime, claymation, hand-drawn styles. This approach allows you to explore unique visual styles that can make your music video stand out. So talking about the anime style, Blender offers tools like toon shading and freestyle rendering to create bold, cell shaded looks. I've seen a lot of amazing 3D renders with an anime vibe. There's also hand-drawn 3D if you're good at drawing. The Blender Grease Pencil feature is your best friend. I've seen other Fortnite style and Toy Story style 3D models. So yeah, pick your poison. It's all up to what you can really dream up. A lot of the music videos that stood out the most for me have been in that NPR style. So it's always a school of thought that I'm going to fit into these videos wherever I can. 
Number five is 3D scan effects. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because of how accessible the technology has become with iPhone cameras now offering powerful capabilities. It's super easy just to pull out your phone and gather a ton of assets on set, whether that's for creating crazy VFX like these glitchy laser scans or these crazy camera fly through environments. There's a ton of potential for what you can do with it. And again, it's easy. You just need a phone and you have Blender, which is already free. Another great benefit is being able to scan objects and use them in 3D. I've made a video on that in the past. I 3D scanned my shoe and then I just did some motion graphic stuff to make a little commercial out of it. So learn how to create some 3D scans. Again, it's an awesome tool and the quality is getting better every single day. Next up is camera animation. The camera is often the unsung hero of a great animation because it guides the viewer's attention and it creates emotional impact. The best camera work does not have to be overly complex or time consuming, especially with easy tools like parenting and using splines in Blender. In Blender, you can animate cameras along paths using the spline tool, which allows for fluid and precise movements. By parenting cameras to different objects or rigs, you can create scenes where the camera follows a character, spins around a scene, or moves in sync with an action. It's also super easy to create camera shake or slight adjustments for added drama. 3D is mimicking real life, the way that light is working, the way that textures work. It's all mimicking how an actual camera works. The first thing you do when you learn photography is to learn how the camera works. So that should be your priority in Blender as well. I have a Blender camera animation tricks tutorial if you wanna check that out. Next up is AI tools. And this is a touchy subject, so let me be very specific. The only AI tools I currently find useful are those that enhance workflow efficiency. So I'm not gonna talk about any style transfer or AI art style stuff. I want to focus on some different things. Here's some actual examples of useful AI tools. This is Switch Lite, it allows you to load in your footage and generate depth maps which can be used to completely relight your scene there's also other useful ai tools for generating normal or bump maps i've even seen ai tools for generating face maps for unreal engine metahumans which is pretty interesting i also found this blender ai assistant plugin which can do things like upscale images automate tasks by generating scripts for you and even organize your projects with one click definitely something that you should keep an eye on next up is 2d compositing and you may be surprised to see 2d compositing in a blender 3d video but i believe that 2d compositing is an essential skill for or any 3D artist or video creator in general, especially when it comes to enhancing your scenes. If you're working with green screen, with lighting, with different compositing effects like fog, you guys will find out very fast that doing everything in 3D is going to make your computer very slow. It's gonna make your scenes very dense. So knowing how to seamlessly integrate 2D elements into your 3D world can be very useful. In fact, if you're a video editor and you're experimenting with 3D for the first time, only using 2D footage might be a good way to start. You can combine live action footage, adjust the lighting, add atmosphere, and even create surreal effects that fit the tone of the music video. Now, if you want to explore more with compositing, you can try 3D compositing with actual footage. I've shown a few clips of what you can do with tracking and compositing before. It can be a bit tricky to start, but if you get it right, you can make some really awesome looking effects. I'm gonna link below a beginner's Blender motion tracking tutorial to help you learn the ropes. There's also a cheap auto solving plugin for Blender motion tracking, which can be very useful. Alternatively, I have a video talking about tracking your camera all within After Effects and then sending that camera data to Blender if you prefer to do things that way. Once you have finished tracking, for best results, focus on the lighting and the shadows of your 3D composite to help it blend with real life footage and then have fun combining any of the previous techniques I talked about in this video. There's been a lot of new exciting stuff learned in Blender the past year. I'm going to link all of my previous year's music video effects stuff below. If you want to check them out, description in and of itself should be loaded with different sources and information. So hopefully that helps you guys out. As always, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.